welcome to the Fazbear Entertainment's Maintenance Video Manual. This tape will cover the instructions on how to clean out your state-of-the-art animatronic characters. Each animatronic has the same cleaning procedure. First, reach behind their neck and press the red button. This will set them into maintenance mode. Second, press the blue unlock button on the back of the head. Remove the upper jaw carefully, then detach the lower jaw. Third, press down on both shoulders to unlock the shoulder joints. Remove both arms. Finally, take the torso piece and lift it upward until it is completely removed. Climb inside the torso and accept your death. El cuarto episodio es una animación bastante curiosa, que tiene a Foxy como protagonista. Al terminar la animación vemos cinco siluetas humanas paradas, y de repente una de ellas desaparece. Al ocurrir esto, la animación simplemente se vuelve a repetir. ¡Ay, there, Buccaneers! The Pirate Coast was beginning in about... er... ...three sailor minutes. In your lingo, that would be... ...three minutes. Shiver me timbers! Three minutes! I better see some crew over at the curtains, or I'ma toss Freddy and his merry band in Davy Jones's locker. Or worse. I'll start asking for raises! Yah! Viewing of this tape is prohibited. Discard it immediately. Viewing of this tape is prohibited. Discard it immediately. Viewing of this tape is prohibited. Discard it immediately. 
Viewing of this tape is prohibited.
best thing you could ever have. But life just isn't good to you. They'll always be there to help. <laughs> yeah. For example, there was that time where I got stuck in a washing machine and Fred had to cut a hole in it to get me out. Welcome to your new job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. This video will elaborate on your duties as a nighttime security guard and will get you up to speed on the tools you will be using. Section 1. CCTV System. On your work desk should be a large tablet. Instead of using a desktop computer to access CCTV cameras, you'll be using this touchscreen tablet. Pressing the button on the side will boot it up and introduce you to a possibly unfamiliar interface. There should be a map of the restaurant on the bottom right corner. Pressing the buttons on the map will change the... Section 2. Door Controls. You might have noticed the two large doors to your sides, and also your lack of provided flashlight. But why is that? You will need to use a flashlight with these specially engineered door controls. Pressing the white button will activate the light set outside the door, illuminating a possible dangers. During the night, we allow our animatronics to roam the building to keep them from locking up and keeping repair costs low. However, this does pose the threat of an animatronic entering your office and possibly damaging valuable equipment. Use the security doors to keep them out of your office. This is a recording of the facial recognition tests on the new animatronics. I thought I'd just use this one because they've all got the same endoskeleton anyway. So, uh, how this is going to work is I'm going to show them pictures of people. It'll alternate between a picture of an innocent and a person who's committed some kind of crime. When he sees a face, his eyelids should go up a little bit. When it's a criminal, he should uh, play a tone and open his mouth. Uh, hopefully, if this goes well, we can start going into specifics. All right, uh, first picture, innocent. All right, good. Second, criminal. Good, very good. All right, we'll do a few more. Innocent, criminal. Innocent, criminal. Innocent. What's this doing here? The hell? Hey, hey, no, 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 no! <laughs> Look, I know we can't have that guy back here, but you can't just put shit in without telling me! I could have died! I. God damn it, you know what? How about you take your facial recognition and shove it? Cause I'm not working in this death trap anymore! Starting right now! Criminal
Welcome, Fredbear's Family Diner employees. Ever since the unfortunate incident from last week, we've been deciding on where the company should go from here. We've decided on something that will require higher effort, but will ultimately be best for the company. We'll be rebranding from the ground up, replacing all of our animatronic characters with four new ones, which use much safer technology than the ones we previously used. They will no longer feature any kind of spring lock technology, and will not be wearable. Wearable costumes will be completely separate. Along with the new animatronics, most of the main area of the building will be rearranged accordingly. There will be two different stages, one for the main three, and another for a separate character. Wall posters will be replaced, and the prize area will be restocked. After the restaurant opens back up, some of our returning patrons might be confused about these changes. Where did Fredbear and Spring Bonnie go? Who are these new characters? In a situation where you are asked anything along these lines, here is what you say in reply. Fredbear does not exist. Spring Bonnie does not exist. Nothing happened to anyone. He does not exist. He does not exist. He does not exist. He does not exist. That's a wrap, everybody. About time! I've been getting tired of these kids treating our fine eatery like a food fight ring. What's so bad about food fights? Oh, I like them. I don't know. Clean it up and find out. Oh, come on. How about everyone quit bickering and I'll make us some pizza instead? I... I could do that. Sounds good to me. If I haven't fallen asleep by the time it's done, then sure. Shut up and do what I pay you for. Hey, uh, um, Freddy, this is just now occurring to me, but why do we got six chairs when there's only four of us? You know, I don't actually have an answer for that. Not even a sarcastic one! Tell me to shut up! Shut up. Ah, the balance has been restored. You think we're missing some members? Meh, nah, just a strange coincidence is all. Yeah. Probably. Well, I, I best be going now.
Hello, whoever you are. You just found a cassette tape hidden in my bedroom. Isn't that strange? A man like William Afton, someone so simple and plain, hiding a cassette tape. <laughs> Why would he be hiding anything? I'm sure that if you're from around here, you've heard of the somewhat recent happenings with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Three cases of one and one case of two. All of them adding up to the five missing children of Freddy's. That was me. I'll elaborate on that later. And you know, I wouldn't call myself plain either. I mean, people may think I'm plain when they first meet me. You know, just a father taking care of himself and his kids who tragically lost his youngest in 83 and supposedly just got over it, right? Wrong. I'll never get over it. And the fact that he died isn't the only reason. You see, Michael did it. Not a surprise, most people know that. But it wasn't an accident. He keeps saying it was, but he's a liar. He hates me. And he hated Joseph. See, Mike wasn't settled with being the failure and how I loved Joseph just so much more. So he tormented him, eventually killing him. And you know, I mean, that's why I didn't love him in the first place. He was always a terrible kid, not worth my time. But now I hate him more than I ever have. He's done so much to hurt my soul in one day alone. My God, Joseph. Ever since he killed him, I've wanted to put my hands around his neck and just squeeze the life out of his lungs, but of course if I ever did that, I'd get caught. I couldn't work because I was thinking too much about Mike. I couldn't concentrate on anything. The papers started piling up, and it kept fogging up my mind, and I needed a release. Then I had an idea. Maybe. Maybe it didn't necessarily have to be Michael. It could be any other brand, as long as I like him. Now, where do all of those children go? Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. <laughs> and hey, if they like Michael, they deserve it. I went up there about four times, picked the worst kids of the bunch, took them back, 
and I gave it to them. I couldn't do much, of course, they'd start squealing. So I made it quick enough to be efficient, but long enough to make it last. It was hell for them, but it was heaven for me. And then I leave, without the slightest bit of guilt. So there you go. And now that you've heard this, you should know that I check this spot every day to see if this tape is moved. I've seen it so many times, I'll be able to notice even the slightest difference. I will know. So you better put it back, Michael, as neatly as you can, and start running. <laughs> I'm trapped. The locks went off while I was wearing it. Somehow, I thought that thing would protect me. After all, I'm not good with thinking on my feet. Now I'm awake. My heart stopped beating. And they put the boards back up, so there goes my only way out. Either way, it hurts too much for me to get up. I guess it works the same for me as it did for them. I die and end up as one of these. I just wish I knew about that part earlier. I don't know how long I'm going to be in here. They're still alive. I can hear them moving around outside. Someone must have put them back together. <laughs> I thought this place was closed down and looked dirty enough. And they probably think I'm still dead. Or they just hate me that much. <laughs> They really are just like him. They deserved it. It shows. I bet they're wondering why they're not up in heaven right now. They got me, so why aren't they dancing up there with all the angels? We're not going anywhere because he doesn't care. God doesn't care about justice or what's right or wrong. God just likes to watch interesting things happen. I would know. I would know. I hope he's treating you better than me, Joseph. Michael, don't leave me here. <laughs> Michael, Michael, help me. How could you do that to your own father? I hate you. I've always hated you. I'm going to kill you, and I'm going to make it hurt. Oh, how I miss the way you used to cry when I screamed at you. It's going to get so much worse. I'm going to get out. And I'm going to find you. And I'll give you a real reason to cry. Go without me and leave me rotting in a room for God knows how long. Every year, I don't know. I've lost track of time. I can't. I don't. I'm alone. Damn you. God damn all of you. I got out. I got out. 
I got out. I don't know where they took me, but it's somewhere new. So much more room to breathe. There's so many things in here. I remember every single one of them. They have your mask, Michael. The fox. I, I hate looking at it. It makes me feel so alive. Come on, Michael. Come visit me. I know you'll do it. She'll make you do it. I'll give you the warmest welcome you can imagine. I see you. Welcome to the Fazbear Robotic Movements Video Guide. Today we have Chica in for maintenance for she had an incident today with the children. But no worries, we are here to fix her and prepare her for her next performance. We are now going to test the upper region of her body. In 3, 2, 1. Now for the spinal and arm movements. In 3, 2, 1. Now for the bottom region of the body, the pelvis, and legs. In 3, 2, 1.
come to me, the men in the dark said. Hi, I am Bonnie Bun Buns, and I was the first robot to be made by Scott.